Like I feel if you want to get a tattoo with your partner, you can do any other thing. You can get matching symbols, you can get initials, you can get yin yang. See, there are many things you can get, but not the person's name. No, you can get your child's name, you can get your parents' name, you can get your sister's name. Or partner, mm, I think that's a stretch. You can do like Jay-Z and Beyonce and get four on your ring finger. Something cute, but... David. Are you David? Sure. But like I said, they've been trade so we can pardon them. Let's pardon them. Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Friendly TV. My name is Memphis and I'm a Madrid based lifestyle vlogger. For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do know, you're welcome back. Thanks for returning. On today's episode of Things I See on the Internet, I was just scrolling. Actually, I wasn't scrolling. I was just doing my friend and then she's like, oh my god, David and Chioma got matching tattoos. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Let me go and check it out. And then I opened Twitter and this is what I saw. <laughs> when she told me they got matching tattoos, I was like, oh, that's so cute, matching tattoos. And I see the video. And it's not matching tattoos, it's tattoos of their names. I thought we already had this conversation. I thought all of us on the internet already had this conversation that we're not getting tattoos of our partner's names. Yeah, get matching tattoos, get initials or something, but don't get... Well, well, that's just my personal opinion. They've been through a lot, clearly. They were dating. They were set to get married, they, she got pregnant, had a baby for him and they broke up. I think they were broken up for like two years and then they finally get back together and two months, like two months into getting back together, they lose their child. <sighs> so I guess I can maybe kind of understand, maybe, I can maybe kind of understand them getting tattoos of their names. I feel like this is something they might they may have done to, I don't know, cement the fact that they are actually, actually together even though they don't have their child which was kind of the only thing linking them together in the past like I'm talking about when they broke up because before they broke up it was all Asherah's 2020, Asherah's 2020 and then they break up Asherah's 2020 was their wedding tag which never came to pass and then there's a speculation not speculation but you would think that okay these people are broken up but they have a child together right so the child is what links them together so they will always have to return to each other because of that child no matter what whether they are still in love whether they are out of love but because that child is there they have to be together but now that child is no longer there so i feel like they're just doing everything to try and let us know or make make themselves know or maybe their family or whatever they're just doing all of that to try and let us know that okay even without our child that we lost we can still be together even without that thing that in the next 20 years will still link us together even if that thing is gone we will still be together which is cute i, I love it for them but if you're just a random in Kechi on the road don't go and tattoo Femi's name on your body don't try it do not try it can we talk about the fact that they are both wearing wedding rings i feel like not i feel like i heard like a week after i finally died because when they got back together they were preparing us assurance 2023 which is this year like they are going to get married this year finally and then their son dies they were leaked pictures or they were gists that they were doing their traditional wedding which at that point i was like why are they rushing they just lost their child but like i said maybe they're trying to prove a point that even without the child they can still be together like with with or without the child they will still be together and yeah this very much looks like a wedding ring and david is also wearing a ring on his ring finger and it doesn't look like all those is 30 bg rings so i have reason to believe that they are married what do you guys think? I feel like they did a secret wedding somewhere, maybe only close friends and family, and they're married. Let me guys know what you think down below in the comments.
And also, let me know what you think about the tattoo. I was telling my friend I prefer Chioma's tattoo to Davido's own because I don't know, Chioma's own looks better, and Davido's own looks faded as if it has been there for five years. But they just got it. <sighs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think about the tattoo in the comment. And while I was on the streets of Twitter searching for Chioma and Davido, I saw that Lori Harvey was training, and I'm like, why is Lori Harvey training? It has to be a man. It has to be a man. It has to be a new man. And lo and behold, I opened and Auntie has been puffed by another sexy looking damsel. What was the guy? So I can't call him a damsel. By another sexy looking sexy looking man. What is wrong with Lori? No, what is wrong with her? No, don't get me wrong, I'm all for her. Like I fuck with that. I love I love that for her. I wish I could do that. Dates young, fine, rich men, and dump them. And the next week, find a new one, rinse and repeat, girl, yes. Anyway, her new um, catch is Damson Idris. He's black and he's beautiful and I know nothing about him, but now I know that he's Lori Harvey's boyfriend. Lori Harvey needs to come out and tell us what she does to get these men. Anyway, I already know she's young, she's fine, she's rich. Did you even know? I heard that she even makes her boyfriend sign NDAs, that's non-disclosure agreements. Nothing that goes on in this relationship is getting out of this relationship, if not you're paying me money. That's how bad it is. Man, this girl, she really read her father's book and she didn't skip a page. Because tell me why, let me list all the people that I know that she has under her belt. Let's start with my namesake, Memphis Depay, he's a footballer, he proposed to her. And I think she said no, or she said yes, and she broke up with him. Then she dated Justin Combs, and there was little rumors here and there that she was also dating PDD. But she recently came out in an interview and said that she has never dated a father and a son at the same time. Was it at the same time or ever? Like she has never dated a father and a son, so she put those rumors to sleep. Then she dated Future. I think her dating Future was the one that blew her. Not blew her, but like blew her because obviously everybody was expecting Future to get her pregnant and dump her and add her to his collection. But she broke and crushed his heart. And everybody started hating her like, yeah, Future needs to take notes from you. Da, 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 da. You're the female Future, you're this, you're that. And then she broke up Future and then she started dating Michael B. Jordan and we're all sure that we're going to get married and then they break up and now she has a new boo what's his name again i've forgotten i'm seeing nice one nice one moving on let's move on after i saw Lori trending on twitter i said let me open my instagram or let me go and see what's happening on instagram and then i open my instagram and guess who is the first person i see on my feed my baby girl bad girl Riri. rihanna for those of you who don't know and she posts something. She just has a caption that says shh with a hashtag SBLVII. I didn't really deep what that was. And then I saw hashtag Apple Music halftime. In the moment, I didn't see the halftime, I just saw Apple Music. I just rushed and I opened the video. And then, you know, let me just play it. It's been 2,190 days. I was like, yes. I was like, yes. Super Bowl halftime. That is what my girl was trying to promote. Super Bowl halftime. Rihanna. Rihanna, when are you going to give us music? When? I know you have a life. You have the love of your life. You just had a baby. But think about your fans. Think about us. We want you. We miss you. Baby girl, when are you going to give us music? When you go for Super Bowl, are you going to perform songs you sang six years ago? Come on. Don't you think before that time you should at least drop drop something for us? Don't you think? Nah, but to be fair though, I feel like the pressure on Rihanna is too much for this damn album. I'm even a little bit scared for her because what if she finally drops this album and the songs are trash? Not trash, but what if it doesn't live up to the hype? Like there is so much pressure on her and I am scared. Not just for her, I'm scared for myself because if she drops a project now, like an album now, 
and I don't like it, I'll be angry because I feel like I've waited for so long to come and receive trash. I just feel bad for her. She has to give us something fantastic. One next thing. Somebody said when her net worth hit a billion dollar mark, someone tweeted something like, Brianna is a billionaire now. You really think she's going to want to come and entertain you peasants? <laughs> She's a fucking billionaire, she doesn't need your money. There's no amount of money you can pay her to come and entertain you because you're broke as fuck. And I'm like, damn, this person is making sense. Would she ever have a show? Would she ever have a concert? Because how much is she really going to make when she has her fancy beauty? She has her fancy um, clothing line. She has her underwear line. Is she really going to come and stay and going on tour, stressing her life? No, no. I'm sorry, but I don't think we'll ever receive news from Rihanna. After this Super Bowl that they invited her to come and do, I think that's the end, which is unfortunate for me because I never got to see her perform live. Like, it's been six proper years since this girl dropped an album. And I'm sure the girl is like, ah, you guys, trust me, me alone. Because at this point, she even makes fun of us. <laughs> I'm sure at this point, she's like, ah, can these people leave me alone? Can they leave me alone? Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. I wanted to keep it light and short. Thanks for watching. I hope you watched until the end. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumbs up on this video and check out my other videos. I make cool vlogs. And um, yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.